I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um... <laughs> Tonight, we're peeling back the glitzy veil of celebrity life to explore the serious allegations against Sean Combs, or P. Diddy. With the power of social media, especially TikTok, these accusations have found a new and vocal audience. Diddy's empire and legacy are now under intense examination, following a series of allegations that paint a very different picture of the mogul. His past, once celebrated for its rags to riches triumph, is now being scrutinized through a more critical lens amid broader cultural reckonings around power dynamics and accountability in the entertainment industry. Allegations of sexual assault, trafficking, and other forms of misconduct have surfaced casting long shadows over his achievements, enforcing a re evaluation of his impact on the culture. In 2023, singer Cassie, a former girlfriend and artist under his label, brought forward accusations of abuse and coercion, sparking a series of lawsuits from others who echoed similar claims. These allegations suggest a pattern of behavior that exploited the very influence and power he had built. The legal battles and public fallout have prompted discussions about the darker aspects of celebrity and power, challenging the legacy of a man who was once a paragon of American success. The federal raids on his properties in LA and Miami as part of a sex trafficking investigation have added a significant degree of gravity to the accusations against him. The seizures of electronic devices and other evidence could potentially lead to more revelations, complicating his legal and professional battles. As this situation unfolds, Diddy's vast contributions to music and fashion are being re-examined in the context of these serious allegations. What happens next could reshape how the public view not only P. Diddy, but also the environments in the music and fashion industries that allowed such figures to wield their power unchecked. This scrutiny comes at a time when society is increasingly holding powerful individuals accountable, demanding transparency and justice in industries long dominated by a few. According to a recent lawsuit that was filed, P. Diddy might be a pedophile. This new lawsuit alleges that P. Diddy constantly held parties at his house that involved minors, adults who were assaulting these minors, male and female sex workers that were servicing everybody, and this lawsuit even alleges that P. Diddy himself spiked people's drinks at the party to get them looser and convince them to do whatever he wanted them to do. Last year, the music industry was shaken to its core as several lawsuits surfaced against Sean Combs, or P. Diddy, a monumental figure in the realm of entertainment. These legal actions accused Diddy of severe misconduct, including sexual assault and human trafficking, marking a significant turn in the public and professional life of the mogul. The allegations brought forth by various accusers, including high-profile names such as singer Cassie, who had a long-standing personal and professional relationship with Combs, shed light on a pattern of alleged abuse and exploitation. These lawsuits claim that Combs used his considerable influence and power in the industry to manipulate and coerce individuals into compromising situations, allegedly for his personal and sexual gratification. The gravity of these accusations prompted a broader discussion on the abuse of power in the entertainment industry, echoing sentiments similar to those raised during the Me Too movement. The impact of these lawsuits extends beyond the courtroom, as they have spread many in the music business to reevaluate their own experiences and practices, and instigated a cultural reassessment of the legacy of influential figures like Diddy. Also, a clip of Justin at Coachella recently went viral, showing Justin's wife Haley comforting him, and fans are worried that Justin's mental health is declining. As for Diddy, many fans are convinced he did something to Justin, and they're calling on authorities to investigate Diddy's alleged crimes. Um, why did I feel so uncomfortable seeing that clip of Justin and that grown man, one fan said. I feel like they did something to him. Like, took his innocence in some type of way. You can tell, because he's just a shell of his former self. And another fan added, when is Diddy going to be investigated for his numerous crimes? I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else <laughs> adopted kids. Charlize Theron, Joy also having a black parent. 
to take care of you and help you out. Clarify it, because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so like, <laughs> play with the kids, and I got permission from your mother. Say all of that, because it's crazy out here. And it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. In a dramatic escalation of legal scrutiny, federal agents conducted coordinated raids on Sean Combs, P. Diddy, properties in LA and Miami. These operations were part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation linked to allegations against the music mogul. The raids represented a significant development in the case, highlighting the seriousness with which authorities are treating the accusations. During these operations, agents seized numerous electronic devices, including computers, smartphones, and hard drives. Such items are often taken in hopes of uncovering digital evidence that could provide details about the allegations or reveal communications and transactions relevant to the case. The seizure of these devices indicates the, that investigators are looking for concrete, traceable data that could play a crucial role in either sustaining the claims against comms or providing his innocence. The fact that such high-profile actions were taken against a figure as prominent as Diddy has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. It underscores the increasingly focus on accountability, even for those who have historically wielded considerable power. This move by federal agents not only deepens the legal challenges for comms, but also marks a pivotal movement in how law enforcement addresses serious allegations involving influential public figures. The court of public opinion is a formidable arena, often harsh and swift in its judgments. In the case of Sean Combs, social media platforms, particularly TikTok, have transformed into crucial battlegrounds where the lines between supporters and detractors blur amidst heated debates and viral content. As allegations of sexual assault and human trafficking surface against the hip-hop mogul, TikTok users mobilize to voice their opinions, creating a digital echo chamber of support, skepticism, and condemnation. TikTok, with its massive reach and highly engaging user base, has played a significant role in shaping public perception of the case against Diddy. Supporters of Combs argue for his innocence, often citing his contributions to music and charity in questioning the motives behind the allegations. On the other hand, detractors use the platform to amplify the voices of the accusers and highlight patterns of behavior they see as indicative of guilt. This divide is further fueled by the viral nature of TikTok content, where videos can quickly spread, garnering millions of views and sparking widespread discussion. This phenomenon illustrates how social media has become a powerful tool in the discourse surrounding legal and ethical issues, capable of influencing both public opinion and potential the outcomes of formal proceedings. The intense scrutiny and polarized responses on TikTok reflect broader societal shifts towards more open and active engagement with issues of justice and accountability, particularly in the context of celebrity culture and power dynamics. A uh, little private area behind the, because uh, he had a house behind his house. Like he had a, a backyard with a, his backyard with a fat ass bitch, and then it had like a miniature little whatever. And then we, me and Lemmy go upstairs. They tell him that he can't security. He went in like a little, but not, no security. So it's just me and Lemmy. We go up in there. Says he like, what's up, Diddy? Um, you know, you, you met Krishan. Uh, uh, they were kissing early, early on party or whatever. Uh, we just want to follow up. Uh, I'm glad to see Krishan. And he had Lemmy by his neck. It was like, but do you <laughs> with her? play with her all she need is love you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out well i mean you haven't i mean you try to get in contact with me you know through all my you know biz, you know partners and whatnot mm -hmm. but you, you never really got my number so right okay my number yeah yeah I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. You my number. yeah 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 As investigations into allegations 
against Sean Combs and Pete Diddy continued. The stability of his vast business empire is in jeopardy. With a reputation built on successful ventures in music, fashion, and media, Diddy faces significant threats to his businesses and personal brand as a result of these serious accusations. Public sensitivity to issues of misconduct fueled by movements like Me Too can lead to severe partnerships and diminished consumer loyalty, impacting his financial bottom line and marketing standing. The future effects of these allegations on Diddy's business ventures remain unclear. The outcomes will largely depend on the public and corporate response to the ongoing legal proceedings and any further developments. How he manages this crisis will be crucial in maintaining the integrity and viability of his professional and personal reputation in an increasingly accountable social climate. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm filming this and it's a pool party that is Ridiculous money. You know, when you Google his name, there's a rumor that pops up uh -huh. that he was Diddy's boy to him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can't wait to run into him again. See, what you gonna say to him? Fuck, he's playing with your booty in Miami. <laughs> you know it was in Miami. <laughs> I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's Camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Hey, what's up, y'all? We interrupt your browsing for this emergency announcement. Um, this is my girl, Kim, my lovely girlfriend. Then you hear about the fact that he he broke Kim nose on a yacht? Wow, I didn't hear about that. Speaking of Kim Porter, because you knew Kim Porter, is it true that Diddy broke her nose? Bust the nose, man. The story of B. Diddy is a stark reminder of how quickly fortunes can change in the spotlight. We'll keep following this story as it develops. Thank you for joining us tonight. Don't forget to follow our channel for more updates and deep dives into the lives of those who live under the public eye. Goodbye.